so we are here with Evolve Assigner 2 in Block 3, and this is our first original oil painting. So actually, I have a confession to make. I didn't do this assignment second, even though it is supposed to be the second assignment, because we actually have 10 images in our photo collection that we were given in our box, Box 2, and I assumed, like we did with Block 2, that we would do the 10 photo images, wait, Hold on, we did the photo images in block one, and then in block two we did some drawings and then we did original paintings. And so I assumed that we would do all of the photos first for some reason, like we did all the photos in block one, and then we would do our original paintings second, like we did um, with block two. But actually, Evolve changed it up. So instead of having us copy all the photos and then do all of our original drawings next, they have us do a photocopy, photocopy, <laughs> a copy of a photo, and then an original painting, alternating back and forth, back and forth. So I think the first set of four paintings, so it'll be a photo, and then original, a photo, and original. Is that right? Four, eight, twelve. Hold on. Am I doing this right? I think so. I think it's like, I think they do sets of four. So you do, like, the first four photos that you do are, or, or is it six? Uh, it's six. It's six. So we do six paintings alternating between copying a photo and doing our own originals. And the first set of six, we just focus on getting the colors right. No gradients, no reflections and highlights, nothing but just simple shadows and then getting the colors. And then the next set of six, I think, is when they integrate gradients back in. And then the next set of six is when they start doing maybe reflections and highlights again, or maybe they start doing color shadows. I don't remember because I'm not there yet. But the point is um, they have six, 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 uh, no, six, six, eight, I think. The final eight paintings are going to be full on color photos, really complex stuff that you see on the, the Evolve website. Well, not really complex because that's block four. Block four is when it gets really complex, but um, block three is the end of block three is still going to be when we when we tie in all of the skills that we learned right now they're still telling us to s keep away from certain skills like gradients highlights reflections things like that so anyways i made a mistake and i didn't i completely forgot for some reason i forgot to check the um the course page where they tell you what the next thing is because you sometimes get into the habit of you go in there and then all it says is, all right, do the next assignment, nothing new today, no new lesson video or things to things to learn, um, just, just keep doing what you're doing. And so after a few of those, you start to forget that you're supposed to check, <laughs> you're supposed to check the course website. So I forgot to check the course website and I assumed that the next assignment was just gonna be the next photo. So I actually did the next photo and then I came back and did this original painting. So for this original painting, I figured something simple, not too difficult, we're gonna go back to the beginning kind of. Um, so I gave myself a sphere, which is the ball, a salt shaker, a cylinder, and then bananas, because I wanted something, the color contrasting a little bit with the orange of the ball and the blue of the salt shaker. And as you can see, I already made a mistake on that ball. Um, there, there was supposed to be a blue um, stripe on it, and that is in the light, but I started painting it with my black, my extreme shadow color, it's not really black. But <laughs> that, that's what happens, you know, when you, when you get to, what's the word? Um, when you start going into autopilot. And I had been using the shades, the shadows, extreme shadow, moderate shadow, moderate light, extreme light, shades of gray, so often that when I started doing the, um, the colors, I, I started, I kept going, I guess. I stopped thinking. I, I think I was probably listening to an audiobook at the same time, too, which is, it's fun. That's one of the best things about being able to paint is you can paint and listen to an audiobook at the same time. Um, but the only problem with that is sometimes your mind is thinking about what you're listening to and you're not actually paying attention to your painting. So there's that. So I, I have to be able to balance that a little better. Anywho, um, also another thing that was kind of tricky was figuring out the color for the background construction paper. Because I used black construction paper to line my shadow box because I figured it's a shadow box. I probably should use a dark color maybe. Um, but the construction paper that I use is several years old. It's kind of faded into a sort of grayish, bluish color. And so trying to, grayish, purplish maybe? So trying to figure out that exact shade that that paper is supposed to be for the background was interesting. Um, and
And it was particularly interesting because I used the same black construction paper for the back background of the box as well as for the floor of the box. So technically they're the same color, but I wanted to give it a little bit of distinction because otherwise it'll look like my still life is hanging out in midair. So I decided to do a just a slightly lighter version of this purpley black color for the tabletop so that you can see there's a difference between the tabletop and the background, which I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Oh, another thing too was that when I was doing the shadows for um, the shading, I, I have part of the background in that moderate shadow color. Is it moderate or extreme? I think it's moderate shadow. But that moderate shadow blended too well with the, or that, what, what color did I use? It? I don't even know. But anyways, that color blended a little bit too well with the moderate shadow on the banana. And so I had to shift it over a little bit. No, it was the, the background that was a little, anyways, there are a lot of mistakes with this painting. First time doing an original painting and I was not altogether entirely sure what I was doing. I did try to simplify it as much as possible, which is good because then that means that I have a little bit more space to learn from the mistakes that I did make. But anyways, that is it for my first original oil painting with Evolve Artist, or first original color oil painting with Evolve Artist. And hope you enjoyed that. Until we meet again, keep making and enjoying beautiful things. See you in the next video.